The first step toward forest recovery happened in 1886 with the foundation of the Pennsylvania Forestry Association. The PFA is still active today, which makes it the longest continuously operating forestry association in the country. Dr. J.T. Rothrock, born in McVeigh Town, was its first president. He did not have a forestry degree. Forestry degrees weren't being given at that time. His background was medicine, and he also had a degree in botany. It was a pretty new concept in the, the 1890s. It was the idea that forests can and should be professionally managed. Pennsylvania Forestry Association started buying some property because properties were being abandoned. They wanted to preserve forest land, so they were buying what at the time they called preserves. Working with Rothrock to secure state lands was Myra Dock. She was a botanist, chemist, and geologist who became the first woman to serve as an appointed state official for Pennsylvania. During Myra's 12 years of service, one million acres of forest became reserves. These land acquisitions eventually became Pennsylvania's state forest system. Rothrock was also instrumental in establishing the Mon Alto Forestry Academy in 1903. This was the first school in the nation to train foresters to work in the state forests. Ralph Brock was the only black student to graduate in 1906 and became the first black forester in the nation. In the 1930s, thanks to Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal, Pennsylvania received federal assistance in the form of the Civilian Conservation Corps. The CCC was developed as a way to put unemployed young men to work during the Depression. They helped plant trees. They helped replant the forest. They helped build forest roads. And even today, you can still go and see a lot of their work evident in state parks. If you see something that looks like an old building in a state park, chances are it was built by the men of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Today, Pennsylvania's forests are alive and well. Nearly 60% of the state is covered by woodland. The Commonwealth has 121 state parks and more than 1.5 million acres of state game lands, making today's forests a virtual playground for lovers of nature. Watch full episodes of Keystone Stories now on the PBS video app.